G'day guys, Greg here. Now, it's Barn Me Review time, yes! And here I am at Springwood in Brisbane, and there's a place here called the Five Star Bakery and Cafe. Now, apparently they do an awesome Barn Me. Well, it says so on the sign out the side, but anyway, it's got a 4.4 Google Star rating, so let's whip on in, grab one of their Barn Me's, and I'll give it the old Greg Urgle Star rating. <laughs> let's go get one. Well, here we go, the Five Star Bakery Barn Me, $11 this one cost. And I've got to say, it has got a bit of weight. Normally they're as light as a feather. But I've got the scales. Let's see how much it does weigh. Wow, 439 grams. Oh, wow. That's a big old burger size Barn Me. Anyway, let's suss it out and take a look. See what it looks like. <laughs> yes, I love Barn Me. <laughs> Okay, well, here it is. What, dude, this thing is huge. That's how big it is. <laughs> it's like a baby's arm holding an elephant. <laughs> now, I did get some chili on it, and well, you can see there's coriander too. Wow, and look at this, oh boy. This looks amazing. So this has got tons of coriander. Oh good, I love that stuff. And it's got the uh, cucumber there with some carrot. And I asked for a bit of uh, chili sauce because you gotta get chili sauce. Theirs was actually a squirty sauce. But have a look at these big bits of pork here. Wow. It's like the char siu pork. Except Vietnamese style. And well, there looks like plenty of meat on there and it's got the pate underneath there. Oh, wow. And they also offered to toast it for me. So I got it toasted as well. Wow, that is the, probably the biggest barn me I've had so far. Just look how thick that piece of pork is too. Wow. Man, this thing is huge. Let me try some of this pork. Mm -hmm. It actually just tastes like carvery pork that you get at a carvery and they do um, pork rolls, normal ones in there anyway as well. So it, it is a carvery as well. So it's got some carvery meat and this pate. Beautiful, mild, very nice. I quite like. And was there any mayonnaise on this? I, didn't even see if there was mayo. Oh, yeah, yeah, on the top here. Mm. A little bit sweet, yep. Yeah. And normally it's like a pickled uh, carrot that they put on it. Which it is. Perfect. All right. Well, this one is massive. I don't know how I'm going to get my mouth around it, but I'll give it a good crack. That's what she said. Let's go. Mmm. Oh, my. That was tasty. And this next bite, I might even get some meat in it. Oh, oh. 
Oh. Oh man, that's good. And this one has actually got a bit of a leak happening as well. So it's a leaky, juicy one. So it's it's almost kebab-like. <laughs> Let me just keep diving in. I need to have some more. Oh, 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 wow. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, this is good. It's so big too, and man, it's just a joy to eat. Although in saying that, um, I did get chili on it, but it's not really that hot. Uh, I did get a, a little bit less than normal. Uh, but uh, what I am noticing is the meat, because it's sort of, well, it has got the red colouring on the outside. But it hasn't really got that Asian sort of style or flavour about it. So, it does taste like a good pork roll with some great pork in it. But it hasn't got that Asian taste about it, which you sort of want when you're having a barn meat. Otherwise, the mayo on this is sensational, and that pate is fantastic, and I'm really enjoying it. But I wonder how many Greg Googles this barn me will get. Well, value-wise, 11 bucks. Woo-wee! At 400 and something grams, this is a big burger size, and it is a big feed. That is great value. Flavor-wise, well, the flavor of this is really great. I'm loving all the ingredients on it. It's blending all together nicely in my mouth. I'm loving the pork on it and the pickled carrots as well. The cucumber, I can't even really notice. And well, I don't even like it that much. The pate is really nice on this as well. And of course that coriander, well, that just tops it off beautifully. The only downside, like I said, is probably the pork could be more Vietnamese tasting sort of style. But besides that, mate, it's a sensational barn me. There's plenty of meat on it too. There's big chunks and they didn't go scroungy with it. So that's awesome. So for my Greg Google star rating, I think this deserves a 4.9 Greg Googles out of five. Man, this is a really tasty barn me. It's so good and so filling. And for the price of it, mate, this is just awesome. Yeah, I would have liked to have maybe have been a bit more sort of Asian meaty style, but besides that, mate, you can't go wrong with this. It's massive and it tastes great. What more do you want? Well, you might want some more Greg's Kitchen videos. If you do, mate, hit that subscribe button because I'm still making them after all these years. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I eat a barn meat. I hope it's real soon. Ooh, yeah. this is